I wrote a blog. Now there's a movie being made starring Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. How do you process that? It it's, it's, a, it's a difficult, it, you have to take it step by step. Luckily, it's been sort of ratcheting up for a couple of years now. It's, oh, I have a blog. Oh, I have a book. Oh, someone wants to make a movie. Oh my God, Nora Ephron wants to make a movie. You know, so, so now we've got- You have to hit the top one and- And Meryl, Meryl Streep. Julie Powell, the inspiration behind 2009's Julie and Julia has died. She was 49 years old. Note on dealing with live lobster. Amy Adams brought Julie's story to life on the big screen, playing the civil servant turned self-taught cook opposite Meryl Streep's Julia Child. When they came with Amy Adams, I mean, you can't do better than Amy. Man, I mean, she's just so tiny was what the only surprise to me, but she's such a lovely, wonderful actress. And I've been so thrilled and honored uh, that anyone would even think that that she equals me in any way, shape or form. Powell's husband, Eric, confirmed the news of her death to the New York Times. She died at their New York home of cardiac arrest. And I'd always loved to cook and I'd always wanted to write. So it sort of came together as a sort of Reese's peanut butter cup moment. Powell began blogging her attempt to cook all 524 recipes in Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking in one year back in 2002. Three years later, those blogs became this book, which became Nora Ephron's hit movie in 2009. My mother made bouffe bourguignon. But it wasn't just bouffe bourguignon, it was Julia's bouffe bourguignon. And it was like she was there, like Julia was there in the room on our side, like some great, big, good fairy. Powell's second book, Cleaving, a story of marriage, meat, and obsession, came out the same year. I've always found that when you're stuck and you're in a rut, you have to do something crazy that's just for you, and it doesn't have to make any sense. It doesn't have to make any sense to anyone else. And if everyone is telling you that's crazy, don't do that, that you may be on to something. She's survived by her husband, her brother, and her parents.